Good morning. Today we're going to talk about cardiovascular disease. Uh, cardiovascular disease are the leading cause of death globally. An estimated 17.9 million people die from it in 2019, it represented 32% of all global deaths. Of these deaths, 85% are due to heart attack and stroke. Over a three quarter of cardiovascular disease death takes place in the low and middle income countries. Out of 17 million premature death under the age of 70 due to non-communicable diseases in 2019, uh, i.e. 38% were caused by uh, cardiovascular disease. Most cardiovascular disease prevented by addressing behavioral risk factor such as tobacco use, unhealthy diet, obesity, physical inactivity, harmful use of alcohol. It is important to detect cardiovascular disease as early as possible so that management with counseling and medication can begin. Classification, the cardiovascular disease are a group of disorders affecting the heart and the blood vessels. And these are coronary heart disease, cerebrovascular disease, peripheral arterial disease, uh, rheumatic heart disease, congenital heart disease, deep vein thrombosis, heart attacks and stroke are usually acute event and are mainly caused by blockage that prevent the blood from flowing to the heart or to the brain. The most common reason is the buildup of fatty deposit on the inner wall of blood vessel that supplies the heart to the brain. Stroke can be caused by bleeding from a vessel in the brain and blood clot. Risk factors, uh, the most common, most important behavioral risk for heart disease and stroke are unhealthy diet, physical inactivity, tobacco use, and harmful use of alcohol. The effect of behavioral risk factor may show up in individual as a raised blood pressure, uh, raised blood sugar, raised blood uh, lipid, fat, overweight, and obesity. These intermediate risk factor can be measured in the primary care facility and indicate an increased risk of heart attack and stroke, heart failure, and other com complication. Cessation of tobacco, reduction in salt in the diet, eating more fruits and vegetables, regular physical activity, avoiding harmful use of alcohol, has been shown to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Health policies that create conducive environment for making healthy choices affordable, available, and available are essential for motivating people to adopt and sustain healthy behavior. There are also a number of underlying determinants for cardiovascular disease, and these are reflection of the major forces driving social, economic, cultural changes, globalization, urbanization, and population aging. Other determinants of cardiovascular disease are poverty, stress, and hereditary factor. In addition, drug treatment of hypertension, diabetes, high blood lipid are necessary to reduce cardiovascular risk factor and prevent heart attack and stroke from happening in this population. Cardiovascular disease development uh, in low and middle income countries. At least three quarter of the world's death from cardiovascular disease occur in low and middle income countries. People living in low and middle income countries often do not have the benefit of primary health care program for early detection and treatment of people with risk of cardiovascular disease. People in low middle income countries who suffer from cardiovascular disease and other non-communicable diseases have less access to effective and equitable health care services which responds to these needs. As a result, for many people in this country, detection is often late in the course of the disease and people die at a younger age from cardiovascular or other non-communicable diseases, often in their most reproductive life. Uh, the poorest people in the low and mid-income countries are also affected. At the household level, Evidence is emerging that cardiovascular disease and other non-communicable diseases contribute 
to poverty due to catastrophic health spending and high out-of-pocket expenditure. At the macroeconomic level, cardiovascular disease plays a heavy burden on the economy of low and middle income. The burden of cardiovascular disease. The key to cardiovascular disease reduction lies in the inclusion of cardiovascular disease management and intervention in universal health coverage package. Although in high number of countries, health system requires significant investment and reorientation to effectively prevent it. Evidence from 18 countries has shown that hypertension program can be implemented efficiently and cost effectively at the primary care level, which will ultimately result in reduced coronary heart disease and stroke. Patient with cardiovascular disease should have access to appropriate technology and medication. Basic medication that should be that uh, should be available include aspirin, beta blocker, ACE inhibitor, and statin. Acute event such as heart attack or stroke should be promptly managed. Sometimes surgical operation required to treat cardiovascular disease. They include coronary artery bypass, balloon angioplasty, valve repair, heart transplantation, artificial heart operation. Medical devices are required to treat some cardiovascular disease. Such devices include pacemaker, prosthetic valve patches for closing holes in the heart. The symptom of the heart disease, uh, basically chest pain, uh, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, and sweating a lot. And this, in this uh, picture, you can see the different types of chest pain, but it raises an alarm that a problem is ongoing. Coronary artery disease, this is the most common disease of, uh, most common cause of angina. It happens when a plaque, fatty, waxy substance builds up in the coronary artery, which supplies the blood of your heart. These arteries narrow or harden and reduce blood flow to the heart. The coronary microvascular disease, this condition is more common among women and people assigned female at birth compared with men and people assigned to male at birth. It damages the wall of the tiny blood vessel that branches from coronary arteries. These blood vessels aren't seen on a typical testing of cardiovascular disease and require special testing that is not available in most countries. Coronary artery spasm, uh, this reportedly results in constriction of the coronary artery disease, and then it's open up. This spasm temporarily restricts blood flow. The risk factor for angina, uh, there are many risk factors. Some factors uh, raise risk of heart problem that directly cause angina, like coronary artery disease, other factors limit how much oxygen can reach the heart. Some risk factor cannot be changed. You may be able to change others, like lifestyle modification and medication management. You have to talk to your provider on how to lower your risk. Anemia is a very important cause for angina, and that indicates lower, lower red cell in the blood, chronic stress, diabetes, diet high in fatty acid, trans fat and sugar, uh, sodium or refined carbohydrate. Exposure to article uh, to particle in the air pollution also has a contribution, family history of heart disease, heart failure, heart valve disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy where there's enlarged heart, long-term exposure to second hand smoking, metabolic syndrome, not moving enough physical inactivity and obesity. Older age, over 45 for men, over 55 for women, uh, smoking, vaping, or the use of tobacco product and, and other street drugs. Want to consult your primary care? Call your health care if you have question or concern about your treatment plan, side effect of medication, symptoms that are new or getting worse. Call 911 or local emergency if the symptoms fit with heart attack or stroke. These life-threatening emergencies that require immediate care, consider printing out the symptoms so you can keep them visible all the time. Plus, share this information with your loved one. You should call also 911 if there is angina 
or suddenly or worse uh, uh, or doesn't go away with the rest of the treatment. A Cleveland uh, Clinic angina, uh, su uh, suggested that angina is the most common symptom of heart disease, and many people can manage the angina by learning their trigger and knowing when to take the rest of their medication, when to rest or take the medication. But sometimes angina can be a sign of heart attack. Knowing when to call the emergency can help to save your life. Talk with your provider about angina if you had it. Make sure to know the differences between your normal engine and more severe symptoms that needs emergency care. And when to call, when to call the ER, 911, uh, your local emergency number if you have a symptom of heart attack or stroke. These life-threatening emergencies require immediate care. Consider printing out the symptoms and keep it with you all the time. Plus, share this information with loved one. You should call 911. Your uh, stable angina suddenly becomes worse. If your stable angina suddenly becomes worse or doesn't go away with rest and treatment, angina is a common symptom of heart disease. Many people manage their symptom by learning their trigger and knowing when to rest and when to take medication. Sometimes angina can be sign of heart attack, and knowing that helps in calling the for emergency. Uh, this I hope this presentation was uh, short, but uh, good enough to highlight some information about current cardiovascular disease that is a great cause for morbidity and mortality. Thank you for listening.